Today on Frugal or Cheap, we're going to take a look at prepackaged snacks and try to make them ourselves and turn them into a much healthier, tastier option that ends up being much cheaper. And we'll explore the price points of each and how it's frugal or how it's cheap. So stay tuned. So let's go ahead and take a look at these prepackaged chicken salads. You can call them chicken on the run and see what we're going to get for the price. The one that I got at Aldi was $1.25 and the one that I got at Kroger was $2.79. So let's see what we get in both of those. Package of crackers. Ooh, a little spoon. And then a can of pre-mixed chicken salad. Mm, smells okay. So I'm going to go ahead and portion this out and see how much is in that can. So it's right at a fourth of a cup. He ended up with one fourth cup of chicken salad and five crackers plus a little spoon. Let's take a look at what we're going to get from Kroger and it's significantly more expensive and you're going to get six crackers let me straighten that out there and in the can and I bet it's about the same amount quarter of a cup. So the way I like to do Instapot eggs is to add a cup of water to the Instapot, let my eggs come to room temperature, prepare an ice water bath, set it on manual for five minutes, make sure you turn it to ceiling. After the five minutes, let it naturally release for five minutes, and then take the eggs out, plunge them into the ice water, So generally what happens is it takes it five minutes to come up to pressure, five minutes to cook, five minutes to cool down, and then I usually let it sit in the ice bath for about 10 minutes. Okay, so let's put together a savory chicken salad. I roasted a chicken on Sunday and had about a cup and a half left that I chopped up. Add that. The great thing about chicken salad is you can do it any way you want to. Two eggs, diced up. About a half a cup of celery, diced again. Pickle relish, oh, I'd say maybe a quarter of a cup, a little less. Then half a cup of mayonnaise, and you can add more or less, depending on your taste. We're going to get just a little bit of paprika and a little bit of curry. I like curry, but nobody else in the house does, so I sneak just a little bit of it in. A bit of pepper. And just a little bit of salt. Mix that all together. This one can, 12 and a half ounce can, close to a cup and a half. And then we're gonna add some apples. This is about a half a cup, half an apple and about a half a cup. Get some pecans. 
craisins. Two diced eggs, which for a, a sweet, this might be an optional thing for you. You may not want that egg in there. And then to bind it all together, I've got some vanilla yogurt. I'm going to put about a half a cup. And I like to put a little mayonnaise because I'm not a big yogurt fan, but you could do all yogurt if you wanted to. So we'll mix that together. Well, that's about right. Add any salt or pepper if you want to. And since it has the um, apple in it, you might put just a little pinch of cinnamon. And this actually looks like it needs just a little bit more moisture. So I'm going to add the rest of the mayonnaise. And see how we are there. So let's look at quantities and price. The Bumblebee from Kroger, quarter of a cup, I think it was five crackers, six, six crackers, cost $2.97. Then we've got the chicken salad from Dollar General, same amount, quarter of a cup, five crackers. Then we have the savory chicken salad made from leftover chicken from the roast, roasted chicken. And then we have the sweet chicken salad. I put seven crackers in each one of these. This is a little bit more than a quarter of a cup because my husband's going to take it for lunch. So I put a little bit more in there. But if we break the price down, each one of the chicken salads that we just made, one quarter cup be 10 servings. So that brings the cost down to about 53 cents, including the crackers. If you live in an expensive area, you could round that up to 60 cents. Now, stay tuned because we're going to have a little bit of bonus video and then we'll talk about is it frugal or is it cheap. So for your little bonus tip, um, what I have here is a to-go container that I'm going to put together for my mother. So being able to make a larger quantity allows me to feed her something that's a little bit healthier and she can have bigger portion size and maybe for her the way she eats anymore is she'll just nibble at it and then have some for the next day. So got there for her, had some slider buns left over and then while going through the fridge for this video I found some leftover vegetables. I had a little bit of onion, pepper, shredded carrots, peas, and tomatoes. And I put that with the last of the Italian dressing that I had. And so I've got a pasta salad here. So this is truly a frugal thing because this didn't cost me anything to make. I had all of the ingredients already in the refrigerator and in the pantry. So for dinner tonight, she's going to have chicken salad two ways, then the pasta salad. And then there's still going to be plenty left over for dinner and then probably a couple of lunches this week. So, let's talk about how much this cost and how the, well we talked about the cost, let's talk about the time. To make each one of these, it took mm, 10 to 11 minutes. I don't really count the time with the Instapot because you just throw the eggs in and set the timer. So it doesn't take a lot of time to do this, but if you're busy, 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 and all you can manage to do is pick up one of the containers, the to-go containers. Uh, so is it frugal? Is it cheap? I'd say the little Dollar Tree ones, are, are they're cheap. You can pick up a bunch of those, have one every day of the week, and it's going to cost you, you know, whatever five twenty-five is, a dollar twenty-five times five is now. Um, some days math is hard, this is one of them. So, you know, that's a cheap option. I feel like this is a much more frugal option because you get so much and you get that cost per serving down to 53, 54 cents. Like I said, if you live in a more expensive area, it's gonna cost you a little bit more, but 
not considerably, and then putting it with something like a pasta side, you can definitely do that. Uh, if you do go ahead and roast a chicken, another frugal tip is you put that left, that chicken, uh, let me get it out of the freezer, uh, put the chicken carcass in some water, cook it down, you can do this in the Instapot, then you've got some homemade broth that I could make some soup with, or I could put it with something else that requires chicken broth. So my motto is always cook once, eat two or three times because it makes life so much easier. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Like and, sh like and share, subscribe. It's free. It doesn't cost you anything to do it, but it helps the channel grow and helps me get more videos like this out. Um, I think that's it, except, hang on. So I almost jinxed the whole video. Um, I'm going to sit down, have my wine, and relax for a few minutes before I tackle the mountain of dishes I created making this video. So again, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell if you want to. Um, I've never found those to be very effective, but hey.